Alright, welcome to yet another psychotic episode in the Debian Stable. Today, we are looking at Parsix GNU Linux on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, I had some of my Debian fans request this, and we are looking at Parsix GNU Linux. Now, uh, the reason I'm sitting here at the uh, login screen uh, prior to showing you the operating system is I absolutely love how this looks. This is kind of cool. As a matter of fact, I need to find out what this login manager is so that I can actually start using this in Arch. This is really cool looking. All right, so we'll just put my username, password. Uh, before I do that, though, you can choose which session you want. I, I love how they set this up here. There are actions right here. You can even choose your language preferences if you have language packs installed and that sort of thing. So I really like how this looks. Very, very nice. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and boot this in here. Now, this is uh, was released on February the 20th. This follows the testing branch, as I may have already stated earlier. And so this is using the latest stable release of GNOME, which is 2.3.2. The first thing that caught my eye was, I love how crisp the fonts appear in this distribution. Now, uh, I am using this in scaled mode, so uh, it's not quite as crisp now as it was when I initially installed this and that sort of thing. But when you look at this on an actual on actual hardware, uh, I can't believe how amazing this looks. Okay, now, you get four desktops to choose from here and an icon to show your desktop. This also comes with Compiz pre-installed on it. I just have it disabled for the time being. On the uh, upper right, you have a uh, power button which allows you to shut down, restart, that sort of thing. You get a calendar, uh, battery monitor, network configuration, and keyboard layout. Okay, and then you can search for files. You have a terminal link. You also have a link to your home folder. All of your system preferences and administration. Simple GNOME 2.32 things. Places and then applications. In accessories you get the archive manager which I believe is the file roller program and my favorite uh, archiving manager uh, for uh, Linux. You get a calculator, a character map, uh, gate it, text editor, root terminal, search for files, take screenshot, terminal, vis virtu virtual box open source edition, and XFAR Dictionary. In games, they included a number of little th games that you can play on this. You get the Isle, Ro uh, Isle Riot Solitaire, Chess, five or more, four in a row, Free Cell, Lango, Klotsky, Mahjong, one of my favorite games, Mines, even better game, Nibbles, Quadrupacel for all you Tetris fans out there, Robots, Sudoku, Tally and Tetravex in graphics. You get the GIMP! That's right, G Thumb Image Viewer, Inkscape, Open Office Draw, and Xsane Image Scanning Program. And of course, I let the cat out of the bag. Uh, you do get the, uh, you do get the uh, Office Suite. Um, oh, I jumped ahead of myself, didn't I? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, in <laughs> internet, you get dial-up internet connection, empathy IM client, fire starter desktop firewall, GNOME FTP client, GWGet download manager, Gwibber social client, Ice Weasel web browser, notably that is just like having Firefox installed, okay? Uh, LifeRay feed reader, Ramina desktop Remote Desktop Client, Transmission for all of your legal downloads, XChat IRC, and then of course in Office you get the Open Office Suite, 
You get uh, Grazibi Accounting, Evolution Email, and a Dictionary in Sound and Video. You get an audio CD extractor, AVI Demux, very cool program. You get the Brazero uh, coffee, uh, coffee Coaster program, yeah. Okay, yeah, disc burner, but it makes more coffee coasters for me. <laughs> you get the Cheese Webcam Booth, Sound Recorder, VLC Media Player, and X. BMC Media Center. And then, of course, in System Tools, you get the Compiz Fusion icon for all of you with the eye candies. Uh, configuration Editor, Disk Usage Analyzer, File Browser. You get HP LaserJet, Replaced Paper, HTOP, Log File Viewer, New Login, New Login in a Window, and System Monitor. And then it looks like a nice little quick link to add or remove programs. And I'm guessing that's exactly what it is. Ah! Nice quick link to the Synaptic Package Manager for all of your, you know, uh, pulling items out of the testing repositories and that sort of thing. Well, okay, so now I have a nice distribution that is on testing. I've got... I've got a distro for uh, Debian Stable, I've got a distro for testing, and now I have one for Sid. Cool beans! All right, so uh, we can eventually do some tutorials on these things for you guys. All in all, I like Parsec's GNU Linux. This looks pretty darn nice. Would I use it? Absolutely. This is a good operating system to use, and um, you don't necessarily have to have the latest uh, hardware that is out there. If you thought this review was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a private message. I will try my best to answer your questions. If I do not know the answer, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.